Why has it been so long since I've read two sentence horror stories? That makes me so sad, but oh my god, you could see my glass. <laughs> I've been working all day, okay? I've been wearing glasses. Anyway, I found new two sentence horror stories, so let's go. She said, if we don't find anyone by the time we're 30, we should marry. Yet she still wonders why all her boyfriends go missing. If he wanted to, he would. <laughs> I feel like I have to say this. I'm kidding. Do not do this. The last thing I remember is touching the mirror and passing out. Was I always left-handed? Oh, I can't with mirror ones. I feel like every mirror story just gets to me. I frantically ran to the Walmart's customer service to pick up my son who was lost in the store. Nice try, sir. His father already picked him up. 911, what's your emergency? I asked and listened to the quiet sobs of a little kid on the other end of the line. I think my daddy wants to kill me, the girl said and cried, making me freeze on the spot as I recognize my daughter's voice. I was born blind, but was lucky enough to have a loving mother who took care of my every need. Imagine the betrayal I felt when a stitch slipped and a ray of light hit my eye for the first time. What the fuck? Okay, but I feel like I'm so curious that I, I would have touched my eye or maybe they didn't know they had stitches. I don't know. What do you think? My sister came into my room last night and warned me not to go to the basement with my father tomorrow. I screamed in horror because my sister has been missing for three years now. I can't believe it. I cried into the phone after the police officer tells me they found my missing daughter alive after all these years. I hang up the phone and glance into the backyard, making sure the hole I buried her in is still uncovered before getting in the car and heading to the station. Interesting. Interesting. Daddy, why is mommy always so mean to me? My son asked, his tear-stained face with sadness and fear. Deciding that it's finally time to tell him the truth, I say, she's just upset that you survived childbirth and she didn't. Mm, no big deal, like nonchalant, like oh. I got a call from my very distressed mom telling me they found my dad's dead body at his favorite camping spot, torn apart by some sort of wild animal. When I brought the phone away from my ear, my dad, who had stopped by for an unexpected visit, said with a smile from across the table, well, that call seems important. I would read that book, I would watch that movie. <laughs> that was the police telling me my brother Tyler was found dead in his apartment this morning. I told my boyfriend, my breath shaking with shock and grief. My boyfriend threw his arms around me in a loving embrace and angrily said, what kind of sick psycho would shoot a decent guy like Tyler? Uh, sir, no one said he got shot. I'm trying to think of like, would I play it cool? But bitch, there's nothing in me that would allow me to try to play it cool. <laughs> Immediately, I would be like, oh, it was you. 